The Dybbuk Box. The inspiration for the 2012 film The Position. The Dybbuk Box gets its appropriate name because it contains a Dybbuk, a malicious and restless spirit with the ability to possess the living. Originally belonging to a survivor of the Holocaust, many subsequent owners of the heirloom experienced bizarre and unexplainable happenings. Each of them have stated they either smelled cat urine or jasmine flowers coming from the wine cabinet, and that they all endured horrific nightmares. It's been on eBay a few times now, with one owner noting in the description that it burned out his lights and made all of his hair fall out. A claim like that, if true, is likely to make it hard to sell. The Crying Boy Painting on September 4th, 1985, British tabloid The Sun published Blazing Curse of the Crying Boy Picture, a story about a very unlucky painting that caused fires, supported the comments of a local fire station officer. These paintings, the firefighter said, turned up mysteriously unscathed in fires all across the UK, all of which started spontaneously. The firefighter said he would never think of owning this cursed painting himself. A couple had laughed off warnings that their painting was cursed, wrote the Sun newspaper. Let all others heed the warning and get rid of their own giant paintings of the crying children immediately. Little Bastard Porsche The infamous car, Little Bastard, belonged to James Dean. The Porsche Spider may have been a little gorgeous sports car, but it turned out to be a deadly force of nature. Its first victim was James Dean himself. A few weeks after he bought the car, he got into an accident that killed him on impact. Shortly after the accident, George Barris, the man who customized the car for James Dean, stripped the car for parts and sold them to two men looking to finish off some custom cars of their own. The two men ended up racing the cars and one of them died while the other one was severely burnt and injured. The Porsche was then in the process of being towed when it fell off the trailer multiple times, eventually crushing the truck driver. Finally, the California Highway Patrol had the car crushed and destroyed. Māori Warrior Masks The Māori are indigenous people in New Zealand who used to carve out masks and statues prior to heading into battle. According to the Māori belief system, any man who died in battle would leave his soul behind in one of the warrior masks. While the curse of the mask poses no threat to other men, women who are pregnant or currently menstruating are said to be cursed with harm or bad luck if they get near one. An English museum even posted a warning to women in New Zealand's Te Papa Museum to let them know about the curse. Busby's Chair the Busby Stoop Chair, or the Dead Man's Chair, is an alleged haunted oak chair that was cursed by the murderer Thomas Busby before his execution by hanging in 1702 in North Yorkshire, in the United Kingdom. So many deaths were later attributed to people sitting in the chair that the landlord donated it to the Thirk Museum. Locals claim that during the Second World War, a Canadian airman from the nearby base at Skipton on Swell went to the pub and those who sat in the chair never returned from the bombing missions over mainland Europe. In the 1970s, some fatal accidents were linked with the chair. In 1978, the chair was ultimately hung from the ceiling of Thirk Museum to prevent any occupancy, even by maintenance. Anguished Man Painting Perhaps one of the most haunted paintings in the world, the Anguished Man Painting has accumulated many scary stories. No one knows who exactly painted the piece, but it's known that the artist mixed his blood into the paint and soon after the painting was finished, committed suicide. The current owner of the painting, Sean Robinson, said that he inherited it from his grandmother who believed it to be cursed. When the man hung up the piece in his bedroom, the family started hearing whispering and crying at night, as well as seeing a shadowy figure walking down the hallway. The current owner of the painting has even made a video of the painting supposedly moving on its own. The Haunted Wedding Dress Curses are usually brought on by immense sadness or anger, or a combination of both, and this wedding dress is a prime example of that. 
It was the wedding dress Anna Baker intended to wear at a wedding she couldn't wait to have. In love, excited and happy for what was to come until her father shot down that idea. Anna never did get married and she died in 1914. Located in Blair County, Pennsylvania, the house of the Baker family lived in was turned into a museum and guests often claimed to see her and hear the members of the family inside. The dress supposedly shakes intensely on nights with a full moon, threatening to break the glass cabinet in which it resides. The Cursed Mirror of Myrtle's Plantation Touted as one of America's most haunted homes, the Myrtle's Plantation has a reputation for strange happenings. But the most tragic story may be the actual poisoning of two children that occurred at the home. A mirror located in the house supposedly holds the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and two of her children. According to custom, mirrors are covered after each death, but legend says that after the poisoning of the Woodruffs, this particular mirror was overlooked. The uncovered mirror reportedly trapped the spirits of Sarah and her children, who are occasionally seen or leave handprints in the mirror. Tutankhamun's Tomb the thing with curses is that they don't discriminate, and that's apparent with the curse of the pharaohs. Whether you're a visitor, thief, or archaeologist, if you disturb the resting pharaohs, be prepared for a life of misfortune. After archaeologists opened the tomb of Tutankhamun in 1922, many people died shortly after visiting it. Beginning with aristocrat Lord Carnarvon, who died of an infected mosquito bite within five months of opening Tut's tomb. With causes ranging from disease to murder and suicide, many attribute their deaths to the curse. Even the death of Howard Carter, who opened the tomb ten years prior to his demise, is considered to be caused by the curse. The Hands Resist Him Painting we can all probably agree that this painting is creepy in of itself. It appears to be a little boy and girl, except the girl is a doll. While her eyes, or lack thereof, are creepy enough, the real horror is that there are dozens of hands clawing at the window behind the boy and the girl. The owner of the painting decided to sell it on eBay, warning potential buyers that it was cursed. He reported that the boy and girl often moved around in the painting and sometimes leaving it altogether to walk around the real world. The description of the painting made the eBay listing go viral, and a museum in Grand Rapids, Michigan bought the painting, but within a year the museum owner and the critic of the piece died.